when things now went to us, mm -hmm. they called Pastor Tony. Mm -hmm. Anthony Kasi. Yes, mm -hmm. our best couple. See, see. The way things are, mm -hmm. <laughs> just go and calm that fire in Uganda. So Why? there are people who traveled from Kenya? There were people whom we were to go with them in Uganda. <laughs> but the date has reached and he's not and here. And they traveled from rural, they are in Nairobi. They are waiting for me to travel to Uganda. Uganda. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending with where you are watching us from. You know, I am hosting an international couple. So, eh, you know, you should know people. Yes, and uh, they were here on Friday. We started their story, and there's no way I could have let them go before we finish their story. And so we continue with the story of the Omu Lamas. They have such a sweet story. This is a girl who wanted to be married to a white man. But God ni nani, God ni so. There's a gentleman from Luya land who was down on his knees praying. And God had his prayers. God answered his prayers. And so this lady changed her mind. And she said yes to this gentleman from Kenya. And the lady comes from the land of Buganda. Yes, she is a Ugandan married to a Kenyan. And we want to hear now how the dowry went on and their wedding day and how their marriage has been. So Karibuni Sana and this is Couples Will Show. This is where we write down our love when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And you can only find this on Wema TV, the voice of hope. My name remains to be Willie Kinyash. I'm a doctor love. Now Kipenda, the undisputed. And I am ready also to listen to this story. Karibu Nisana. Hey guys. Hi. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> Friday. Merudi. <laughs> Mulichoma. Mm. Where? Asante. It was fire. Thank you so much. And it was fun. Thank you. Yeah? Mm. At the engagement was done in the middle of prayers. Yes. <laughs> My goodness. After such a long wait, yes. finally it happened. Mm -hmm. yes. Now you have flight to Uganda. Mm -hmm. Let's pick it from there. Okay, when I came to Uganda, then we arranged for his coming. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there were, we had some little challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, now, that's my part. The main part, we you know, now that I'm a man, I have to to prove to Ugandan that I'm coming to pick your lady. Mm. And uh, everything we had said well, mm. she traveled, I was to follow her. Actually, we were to, we were to travel, all of us. She mm. goes to Uganda, I go to Kenya, mm. and then we do the visit. But there was some delay with my company. Mm. I was working in a bank, and uh, we were doing some transition. Mm. Uh, the day we were to travel, mm -hmm. some changes came from the head office. Mm -hmm. So they said I cannot travel. Mm -hmm. Then we, we had some challenge. I had some little challenges in my company. Mm -hmm. uh, I allowed her to travel. I we had all, actually had done two tickets, mm -hmm. but I decided now mine to go that way. Mm -hmm. Had to travel. Mm -hmm. Then I told her, "Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you will see me there." Mm -hmm. But she didn't know what I was going through. He didn't tell me. I didn't tell her what she was going through because, uh, with the challenges of engagement, she has followed. I've done it on the last day. Mm -hmm. Then again, we are traveling. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, I'm giving another information. Mm -hmm. So people are like, "Is this thing go is it really going to work?" Mm -hmm. Even when it began doubting. <laughs> He's very, but sure. Betty again comes in the picture. She's my best friend. <laughs> she loves her so much. She's yes. my best friend. My diehard. Are you sure? I don't think it's going to I say, uh, let me just cancel the flight. I will fix things out. Now, you see, I wanted to go back to the campus to solve some few things. But she didn't know what I was going through. So, my boss 
Uh, is Betty aware that no, now you are not going? No, he didn't tell. I didn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. It's only Pastor Limo whom I told. Mm -hmm. Things are not good here. Uh -huh. Say, husband, let the flight go. Mm -hmm. let, let the lady go. We remain here to sort things out. Yeah. Then I said, had you booked? I said, yes. Let it go. Uh -huh. We will find another fl flight for you. Yeah. Then even in Kenya people, they don't know what is happening. She mm -hmm. doesn't know. Uganda people, they don't know. Because we were just traveling prior to the wedding, two weeks, and then we do the wedding. Mm -hmm. Now, Gala has traveled home to Uganda. One week has ended. No communication. I'm not communicating to anybody. I'm not Even her. Huh? No, he's just saying hi, hi. how are you? I love you. He just, just loves you. Uh -huh. Only yes. That. <laughs> then I was <coughs> quit now from the bank. I just made a radical decision. I told boss I can get another job. Mm. But I cannot get another wife like this one. Yes. So I've made. They told me, which one do you want? You can say here. They will say, no, I cannot get a woman like this one. Yes. I have to quit. And I quit. I didn't even sign. I quit. I didn't even wait if they pay me my benefits or what. I say, what? I don't want money. Release me to go. So I began What's a matter of love. Yes, I began processing my resig my resignation and it took like two weeks. I even went to migration. I was to push it because once you re you you quit, you take another one month. But now I, I was. We have only two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks <laughs> to the wedding, <laughs> and the according to the to to the laws, you have to take one month. <laughs> so I went to migration. I processed everything. Uh, PLO, the, I, the went, PRO. I went to see my, what do you, in full it's, uh, that one, I've forgotten his name. Mm -hmm. Now he, he tried to push everything to cancel my permit and so on, mm -hmm. within three days. Mm -hmm. But do you know, that Saturday, we were to go and do the, we were to go and do the introduction, we didn't go. Mm -hmm. Even the week we were to do the wedding, I was still in Dubai. So the, the introduction in Uganda was supposed to be on 22nd April, mm -hmm. and then the wedding was on 29th, 29th. April. Mm -hmm. So all these dates, he's still in, in what? In, in Dubai. Dubai. And I had already pro pro So the when cards. the 22nd reached, and everybody's looking at me, and they're asking me, even me, I don't have answers. And he has not told me what is going on. So I'm like, hey, this guy has played my mind. But the good thing he did, that date that he... He sent someone. Yes, oh, sent you will get to that story. Ah. Called, you will get I to called, that. I bit. called. Uh, I was to call now when things now went to us. Mm -hmm. I called Pastor Tony. Mm -hmm. Anthony Cassidy. Anthony yes, Cassidy. Mm -hmm. our best couple. See, see, the way things are, mm -hmm. <laughs> just go and calm that fire in Uganda. Uh -huh. Just calm that fire for me. Yes. Uh, as I put things together. So he thought he's going for two days. Mm -hmm. Stayed there for like 10 days. Wow. Then he said, hey, well, you know, I have family. So he asked for us. So what do you, uh, tell me how I will, uh, anything tell me I will do. Tell me anything. Tell me I will do anything. But stay in Uganda for me. Ask him, how much is the hotel in Uganda? This amount. Say, no problem. And how is Mama in Kenya? I was to go, I said, don't worry. You tell me, give me the number of mama, give me the number of the hotel, you, you stay there. Stay there, you are, you are my man. Wow. Stay in Uganda. We were trying to cover things. Until my mother called me one day, she asked me, <laughs> are you playing with our mind or what? I said, mom, how? Can you tell me what is happening with you? Mom, everything is okay. Everything is, but today is the introduction. I've even said people, to go to Uganda now you have you have not come. So but there are people who travelled from Kenya. There were people whom we were to go with them in Uganda. <laughs> but the date has reached and he's not and here. they have travelled from rural, they are in Nairobi. They are waiting for me to travel to Uganda. Uganda. They bounced. Oh no. And I, I didn't want to show her my weakness. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show her how strong I am as a man. Yeah. But Immediately, I quit from my work place. I, uh, I even surprised, I told her, I'm coming tomorrow to clear all the diary and everything. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. like, Are you sure? I say, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. That Betty, we met in the airport with her. 
Mm -hmm. He was also traveling the same same day. Mm -hmm. So to 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 summarize, uh, I was able to travel to Uganda mm -hmm. to summarize everything, to do the introduction, the diary, and to get the lady mm -hmm. to travel back there to Kenya. So the day the diary was to be paid, mm -hmm. it did it didn't happen that yes. day. The day for the diary became the day for the wedding. And then we got another day for, for the, the wedding. wedding. Yes. yes. We had already distributed the cards mm -hmm. on 29th. That 29th mm -hmm. then I was doing the diary. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we, everything went in a, another way. Mm -hmm. But all in all, mm -hmm. we, I managed everything. Uh, I, thank, I want to thank God for Pastor Kasili so much. Mm -hmm. He really intervened and he facilitated everything. Mm -hmm. In fact, that day of diary, it was like a wedding day. Mm -hmm. We found people are waiting for us. Yeah. That's Where how it's done man? in Uganda. You know, Where is this man that has been taking us around? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I am. Yeah. That is how it's ah. done in Uganda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they found this Muzungu. <laughs> muzungu. muzungu. There was a Muzungu. So now me, now the Muzungu. Oh. Yeah. And I was ah, all along they knew that yeah. he's getting married to so a are, white man. They had not seen this man before. <laughs> yes. It was the first time. And Pastor Tony was walking on this side, my eh. brother was here, <laughs> and uh, I was in the middle, there was another man, there were women at the back, mm -hmm. and then I was, we were to hire women to represent like, they are from Kenya. Mm -hmm. We even hired a negotiator. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Because you don't yeah, know how the they talk. And <laughs> to say, uh, we have come from Western, he, a guy from border there. <laughs> so I'm like, mm, you have come. Then we thought people were waiting for us. The, the way that Muzungu, Muzungu, the lawyer, <laughs> then I was bouncing, so I cried, here I am. Then we found people are waiting us, and uh, when I looked at people, I said, God, these people are good. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, it was my first experience with mm -hmm. the Ugandans, mm -hmm. because when I was with her in Dubai, she was not kneeling. Yeah. So, oh, so now here. Yeah. Surprisingly, she was, they came scrolling down like, uh -huh. Oh my God, what is happening? Uh -huh. Even Betty has changed. Uh -huh. She has put her rope here. Uh -huh. She's down. Uh -huh. Even now she's not down. Not the Betty you know now. Yeah, not the Betty I know. <laughs> now they are really humble. Because now mm. you're becoming mm. a, a son in the home and your husband. So uh -huh. that respect has to be accorded to you. Then we negotiated. We did all our best. And the, the family decided now, since the Muzungu has honor to come, mm -hmm. and he has combined things together, mm -hmm. Uh, we have released our daughter, uh -huh. and the good thing with them, <laughs> they give you a certificate. Ah, yeah. We are given a certificate. For what? It's like a marriage already. Yeah. That union is already a marriage. So now the, the, the certificate is for the government or traditional? It's, or? It's, it's traditional, but it's also recognized in the government. Oh, yes. wow. And then it was on a Saturday, mm -hmm. I, I, called, I had told Bishop that we are going to Uganda, and then on Sunday we'd be in church for introduction. Because even in my church, mm -hmm. they had not seen me, mm -hmm. they don't know the lady. Mm -hmm. So we were to go to church for introduction. Mm -hmm. So when we had bought... We boarded, uh, I think, March when you are coming. That same day of the introduction. The After the introduction. introduction. Kenya. Yes. Yes. Because you we to boarded. Go direct to my bishop's place until now we do the, until now when we'll be officiated together. Mm -hmm. When you reach to the border, mm -hmm. they stopped her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They didn't oh, want from me to. Uganda. Go. Oh, you cannot. Oh, so many things. We stayed there for one hour. Now the bus decided to go. Ah. And then now, since we had some luggages, Pastor Tony and my brother. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the, I told them, you just go, mm -hmm. let me stay here. So I want to see what this wants from us. Mm -hmm. We were not at the, at the border. So what know. was the issue? I don't know. She's from Uganda. Why is she going to Kenya? Her passport uh -huh. has a stamp. Then we were even taken to migration to the police station. <laughs> and uh -huh. the, at Uganda said, ask this, what do you want? Mm -hmm. We are just civil people. Mm -hmm. uh, any crime? Mm -hmm. No, no. I, I told them, just tell me you want money, I'll give you money. <laughs> but I will not leave you with my wife. Uh -huh. I'm going to marry. Yes. Next Sunday I'm doing a wedding. Uh -huh. So you tell me how much you want. Uh -huh. I'll bribe you. I, I, don't. Don't. I just told them, I'm going to bribe you. 
Tell me for the sake of my wife. Uh-huh. But for, my, for the sake of my wife, because uh-huh. I don't know what you want from her. Uh-huh. She cannot go back. They wanted her to go back. To Uganda. To Uganda. No, because they are thinking. Uh-huh. Uh, they told me because I have a stamp for Dubai. Uh-huh. Then I'm passing in Kenya. Uh-huh. Then they're like, are you working in as a maid? And then you're passing in Kenya. So they are, they are bringing stories. Uh-huh. Things are not adding up. So uh-huh. when he came, uh-huh. and then they're speaking Swahili. Then I don't know any Swahili at all. So uh-huh. they're speaking Swahili. They're speaking. And then they are I'm just looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just they are confused. Yeah. Don't know what to do. Yes. I know everybody is watching at me and I am born again. Mm-hmm. But you see, I was to do anything mm-hmm. for the sake of her. Yeah. So I was to give two thousand Kenyan shillings. So you you yeah. finally gave out two thousand. I gave uh, two thousand Kenyan shillings to show how corrupt this country, how African countries they are. Mm-hmm. But we, I'm not saying I'm not corrupt, mm-hmm. but you see, mm-hmm. I was to do anything. Mm-hmm. Remember mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. I've quit my job. job. Yeah, I've, I've said I'm going to do anything for her. Mm-hmm. Then in the border, mm-hmm. in fact, when I enter, when I when I just landed to 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 Uganda, mm-hmm. there's the same thing. They mm-hmm. said you don't have you don't have yellow fever. <laughs> you have to stay ten days here before you go. I say tomorrow mm-hmm. is my dowry. Mm-hmm. So what do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. They injected me mm-hmm. for them to have to backdate my yellow fever. Mm-hmm. I was to add them five thousand Kenyan shillings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The same thing is applying to them. Mm-hmm. So to cut the issue, the story out. Pastor Tony Kasili left us. Mm-hmm. We were to board another uh, another bus. Mm-hmm. We were reaching to Kenya around twelve midday, mm-hmm. and the church they are waiting for us. Mm-hmm. We took a Uber from. Uh, 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 railways mm-hmm. all the way to uh, Gong Road. Mm-hmm. We, we just found the church they were waiting for us. Oh. Then we ran, we rushed to the church, mm-hmm. they did the introduction. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Monday, again, we have to go to Sharia House mm-hmm. to begin the process. Yeah. Going to Sharia House, they are telling us for you have to take for another 21 days, days. Yes. for you to approve this. And mm-hmm. then I told the Majesty, we need this thing. We, we, our wedding is on Sunday, today is on Monday, and Tuesday mm-hmm. and Wednesday it was a holiday. Oh. They say, our wedding is on Sunday, <laughs> and you're telling us we wait for another 21 days. Mm-hmm. Then she said, come, come, we talk. <laughs> <laughs> then we, we talked. <laughs> then he said, now do this, do this, do this, and, but after doing this, you, you also will have to do ABC. He said, no problem. Hey, uh, say God. You are passing me through a lot of exams, but I have no option. But the good thing is, by Friday, our certificate was out. Wow. Do we give God glory? That is the moment, <laughs> that Saturday, that Saturday is when we invited people for the wedding. That Saturday? Because yes. Now, because now you cannot invite and things are Sunday not yet. Now. Sunday? Eh? Yes. Where, where was the wedding? In Here in Kenya. In Kenya. Kenya. Chris Church. Yes. Ah. Because we could invite them before the certificate. Yes. We were given certificate on Friday. That Friday is when I began calling people. Our wedding is on Sunday. Our wedding is on Sunday. Tomorrow, Our not Sunday, tomorrow. On Sunday. <laughs> so did people from Uganda come for the wedding? Yes, they came. They, came. they had to come. How now? You're calling them on yeah. Saturday? No, no. We, 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 by faith we knew it would happen. Okay. So we prepare for their coming. <laughs> So by the time the certificate came out, they are already on the way. Mm-hmm. Yes, they were boarding to come. So it came out Friday, and yeah. they came Friday. Mm-hmm. Yes, and wow. then the wedding was on Sunday. And the wedding happened. Yes, gloriously. Yeah. I think I have a. <laughs> we will show them. We will show them. I have, a, I have an evidence that this thing worked. Yes, we, we are still together. Yes. It worked. It's uh, working. The photo. It Yes, there are, there are photos that are, uh, that are, uh, that are on the screen to show that, I, to show I that it happened, yes. your wedding happened. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Uh, it is good to, you know, evidence is good. Yes. You can find. Uh, evidence, evidence is here. Hmm? I, I have a nice one. Uh, she has a nice one, but this one is, I've been putting this in my archive, you see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old, you see, classic wedding. <laughs> Finally, I Wh- did it. Which color is that? It was a blue. It was blue. 
Is that blue? Yeah. Uh, that it's like blue. the sky <laughs> blue. <laughs> you know, like the ticks when you, you read the message? Yes. Yeah, that color. And you know, when even I was, when I was buying my suit, she was not there. I didn't even know. Of course, I'm not supposed I to be there. I went with the sister. <laughs> this was not the color of the wedding. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were not <laughs> choosing this it was color. It blue. Eh. But now, we, have, too late. we reached and said, we want this one. Yeah. Now we were to call people in Kenya, we are changing the, you just, men with yours, myself and Pastor Kassidi, this, <laughs> you know we didn't have, we didn't invite people with cards, you yeah. know all weddings people are always invited with cards, Yeah. as we didn't invite anyone with cards, uh-huh. we did because that mama. date changed, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but the good thing it was on a Sunday, yeah, so, so we have people a are in church, so after church, we had a big congregation, yes, <laughs> yeah. that was full, yes, it was more than... And the parents, uh, came. parents came. Mm-hmm. Mm. What else do you need? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> wow. And whatever I wanted, I had already found. Yes. So the rest was history. Wow. Yes. Wow. And Amazing. I have a wife. Lovely story. Five years in marriage now. Five years now. <laughs> yes. And counting. Yes. yes. Wow. Praise be to God. Okay. Mm. Yes. After all those challenges, here you are. And now I look like Mzungu. Now you look like a Mzungu. Yeah. And people in Uganda, they they recognize you as Mzungu. They recognize me as a king. Yes, as a king. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yes. So, um, Flo, yes. how, how has been the, the journey now in marriage? The journey has been beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, there have been challenges, mm-hmm. but a life without challenges it's not interesting it's mm, not worth yeah. living mm. yeah but it has been totally when you sum up everything mm-hmm. wonderful mm. yes what are some of the challenges have you gone through in your mm. marriage we had to yeah, make yeah. some yeah. difficult decisions mm-hmm. that only the grace of god has helped us overcome mm-hmm. yes like i had to leave him with a four month old baby yeah. We have one beautiful girl called was Blessing for, Love. Blessing yeah, she for. was turning four. Sure? Yeah, she so was three and yeah. something. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So I left him in Kenya after. Uh, how do we tell that story now? Which story? Where I leave you with the child. Now, again, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see another story coming up. <laughs> again, I quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, my company wanted me to to do some two three things. Then uh, the, the first, same company no, you are another, another one. company in Dubai. So after yes. the wedding, mm-hmm. we go back to yes. Dubai. Mm-hmm. So yes. I I was to make another radical decision. Mm-hmm. I actually we had even booked going back. Mm-hmm. Then I called my company. Mm-hmm. I'm not going back. When I was we were together mm-hmm. in Kenya. Yes, mm-hmm. I told them I'm not going back for the sake of my family. Then my wife, her job was still there. So uh, I was released to go to Dubai. Mm-hmm. Then I was to remain with the baby. Mm-hmm. The baby was, I think, three and a half months. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reason why I did that, mm-hmm. now, the reason why I, I decided to remain with my kid mm-hmm. is because I'm the one who had married her. Mm-hmm. And I knew, as a man, mm-hmm. I have to be a responsible husband, yeah. and I have and also father. to be a responsible father. Mm-hmm. And I said to myself, since she carried the baby for nine months, mm-hmm. I can also raise the kid. Yeah. And I, 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 I decided to delete those norms that African men, they always have, that I cannot do this, I cannot do this, I cannot do this. I wanted to prove to her I am the white, but she didn't know. Mm-hmm. Because in, 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 in the white culture, mm-hmm. men, they always take even the mama's responsibility. Mm-hmm. They, they always behave like them. They don't <coughs> separate the responsibility. Mm-hmm. Mzungu will not tell you, clean. Mm-hmm. Mzungu will clean mm-hmm. so that tomorrow mm-hmm. you can clean. Yes. So I decided now, mm-hmm. let, me, let me be the responsible. Mm-hmm. Let me now take the initiative of uh, responsible. taking care of the kid and mm-hmm. also giving her support. Mm. And uh, that was 2018. Mm-hmm. The challenge we had is that that distance, mm. and her worry was, I am going to manage to stay with the kid. Mm. But 
I, I'll say by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. But again, I said, mm -hmm. I am the father. Mm -hmm. Anything that the mother was doing, mm -hmm. I will do. The only thing I will not do, I cannot breastfeed. Mm -hmm. But I will use all the mechanism mm -hmm. to make sure that this kid, mm -hmm. <laughs> she breastfeeds every day. Yeah. And our daughter now, she is four years, she is four years old. Mm -hmm. She has joined even P1. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, she only carried her in the home for nine months mm -hmm. and breastfed her for few months. Mm -hmm. But in, 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 in my daughter's line, mm -hmm. I've stayed with her. Mm -hmm. She taught me one thing. Mm -hmm. That is the moment I knew how to change diapers. Mm -hmm. And it is the same time I knew when a child has diapers, the duration that he's supposed to stay in that duration. Mm -hmm. And the feeding program, mm -hmm. uh, giving the milk, the, the, the infant stage. Actually, he's a better parent than uh, uh -huh. yeah. Between zero to three months, three months to six months, winning period to one year. The, the, you know how you take the kid to the hospital mm -hmm. when she still has those... What do you, the those, clinics. The clinics. Mm -hmm. I took my daughter to clinic until she was nine months. Every oh. day I could... Uh, carry the, you know that bag? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. The milk and everything. And the people like, was oh, this man beaten by the wife? <laughs> or oh, this man was raped by, or Amekaliwa. You know how is it? Yes, Amekaliwa Chapati. Amekaliwa Chapati. Kwa TV and on a TV, na meambua peleka mtoto clinic. There was that mocking, by the way. <laughs> Even with the church surrounding. <laughs> Some, why, why is this man with the with the five month old every day on the road, mm -hmm. in fact, when I when I used to go to church, mm -hmm. I used to carry that bag, mm -hmm. that that thing, the one you be carry. Then you carry the baby, mm -hmm. get the baby. Be be carry, then yeah. I put the baby here with my bag alone, going to church. Then I change the diapers, I give her milk. Then I come back home. That was my responsibility, because I said my family is my responsibility. It's not my neighbor's responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I've lived telling my wife, you see, you are neglecting you are all my responsibility. I, I will not fight you because I've seen so many homes like when, when there is there are so many demands. Hmm? Uh, we need money and maybe yesterday gave money, they are finished. The, you gave this, they are finished. But I told God to give me that grace that anything they'll ask me, even even, even if it's in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. I will wake up and give solution mm -hmm. because I am presenting God yeah. into their life. Mm -hmm. So that was the only challenge that I can say, but to me it was not a challenge. Mm -hmm. It was also a school <coughs> that I was to be in. Wow. And that's quite a challenge to men out there, that they can be responsible to their own kids. These are their babies. That is why you had to take the responsibility. Because you're saying, this is my kid, this is my child. Like, if we had all gone to Dubai, it would have been tough on us, mm -hmm. raising a child and then working. Mm -hmm. So he chose mm -hmm. that instead of us all struggling and then we have a child, mm -hmm. let me stay home mm -hmm. with the child and work from here. At a, a place where I can, you know, for him, he's a person who likes to be like self-employed. He's yes. a CEO of himself. Thank you. Mm. So, like, being in Dubai for him already was miserable enough for him because he don't want to be, like, employed. under someone, mm. yes, employed. Mm. So, it was working for him. Mm. Now, for me, being I'm from Uganda, I cannot say to in Kenya, and then I don't know the language, then I'm, I'm coming to look for a job, then I have a kid, I just got married. So, so the best option for me was I stay mm. in Dubai, mm. and then... He gladly took on the responsibility of staying with the child, mm -hmm. which was a, a painful choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've maneuvered through the hurdles and mm -hmm. yeah, we're somewhere. Now I she's a say. big girl. Yes, she's, she's a, five, she's four, five, four, four years, she's sorry. Four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's wow. four. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Four months to four years. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Four months to four years. To four years. Yes. And you have been there. Yes, he is the one who's the best friends. I, I salute this man. <laughs> Thank you so much. I salute you. Mm.
Mm. I mean, not not many ma- men would do that. Mm. Not many men would do that. Yeah. So thank you so much. And it's not like I left him with a child who was already using a bottle to feed. So she started feeding from a bottle the moment I left. Mm-hmm. After I left at the airport, then he, he arranged for the baby. He went did shopping that very evening and prepared milk for her. And they started from there. You took her to the airport? The yes, baby. with the baby. With the baby. I was driving he box. was driving. <laughs> Probox. Then you saw the plane. Do you hear? Mm. Mm. Do you hear, Amanda? Yes, yes, I've made the decision. Now I am going to. I, you know, when, when, when I took her to the airport, mm-hmm. but immediately she came from out to the car. She said, "Okay, this is the worst decision I've ever made, but I'm going to make this decision to work out." I thought I was dreaming. But when I was driving back home, when the kid began like, crying, she was she's me, hungry. That is now it began hitting my head. And I remember rushing to Carrefour Kar- mm-hmm. to buy those. I didn't even <coughs> know the prescription of those bottles. So I called a doctor from Aga Khan. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, which bottle do I start with? This one, even this free, I began cooking with my daughter. It's still in my house. They always want to throw it, but I said, this one, it remains as a remark. Mm-hmm. But this was the first furia for women. You know the food, mm-hmm. cook food? Yeah. I was the first person to cook food for her. And then I told everybody, now mm-hmm. she'll be doing like this. Mm-hmm. So anytime anyone is cooking for my daughter, I have to go to kitchen. Mm-hmm. Hey, what are you cooking? What have you put inside? No, remove this one. I think even my mother, <laughs> my own mother who has given birth to five kids. <laughs> Yeah. You could not trust her with the she food knows, of your kids. I, I know she's even enjoying whatever she's watching. Yes. But if you ask her, she will tell you. I even corrected her. <laughs> she wanted to introduce the meals before she reached five months. Mom, no. According to this book for the clinic, they're saying five or nine months. Six months. She was already nine. And you're not six allowing. Six months for winning. And then the moment she's six months, you don't give her food. One week you introduce, you give her milk. Another week you you mash potatoes with milk, and then like that, and then like that, and then now we. I'm the one who used to do the diet for her. Even today. Wow. Yeah, today I say let her eat this. Wow. Because she became to my life, not as the center. She's the center, mm-hmm. but she 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 became to my life as a. As a, 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 as a, what do I say? She, to me, my daughter, she's a blessing to me. Mm-hmm. Anytime I look at her, mm-hmm. I always see that smile. You yes. know, before three months she was not talking. Yeah. But now, Daddy, mm-hmm. uh, I want milk. Mm-hmm. No, I don't want milk. Mm-hmm. Daddy, uh, do you love me? Mm-hmm. You see, now I feel yeah. I've read something. Yes. And yes. It, it only makes me to give glory to God. <clears throat> because it wasn't easy, mm-hmm. but through God, He helped me to to, to, to resolve it. And yeah. I didn't look for an alternative. Mm-hmm. You ask anybody. Mm-hmm. I never look for any other woman. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes men give up. Mm-hmm. But if you ask my daughter, mm-hmm. she will tell you mm-hmm. it is daddy who raised me. Mm-hmm. I didn't get for another woman to marry. Mm-hmm. You see, a man can reach to a point and say, Ah, he, Mambo Nigumu. Mm-hmm. Let me find out for a solution. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. it wasn't a burden to me. Mm-hmm. It was a glorious journey for me. Mm-hmm. And we thank God. Amen. Yes. By the time you were making the decision uh, for her to leave, mm-hmm. um, why, why couldn't be the, you the one who would have gone there and she remained back here? To, to me, it could, it, I thought to me it was much easier because I'm a local. Mm-hmm. No, not local. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Kenyan. Mm-hmm. Ashi is a foreign. Mm-hmm. So for foreign, is still a long period for mm-hmm. her to... And then also adapting. Mm-hmm. Also, she, it was, it, the system to Kenya, it was a bit new for her. Mm-hmm. So I found if I go and I leave her here, mm-hmm. she will experience some challenges. Maybe mm-hmm. I get her how she stays. Mm-hmm. I was imagining how she, how she will manage because mm-hmm. I have set my house. Mm-hmm. I'm the one who always goes to to the market until today. Up to date. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
he that ask her where the market is, she doesn't know. Because I've said, let them live as princes and queens. Wow. They always give me a list. And I always know what is good for them. So I go to the market, Kisoko, mm -hmm. buy onions. Even from the day, immediately when we got married, even in Dubai. Even in Dubai, her. he does shopping. And even he, in Dubai. And he cooks. He loves them. Yeah, when the, when the pastor <laughs> says that uh, the guy is black, but inside he's white. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is white. Yeah. How, how do you feel, um, Flo? I, I just say I'm blessed. <laughs> At some point, God heard my prayer. <laughs> yeah. Though we made pray and what it packaged is a certain way, mm. but God knows exactly what we need. He knows the desires of our hearts. Mm. So he looked into my heart and saw exactly what I need. Mm. I believe that's what I got. Mm. And I thank God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, if, uh, you see the hair still is good. I always give a pres I prescription. Want, I want like this. Uh -huh. I want like this. And yeah. structure. Yeah, he's I, particular. I give them structures. Mm -hmm. Even everything. Mm -hmm. Even dressing. Mm -hmm. Even talking. Mm -hmm. Because you remember you were talking about familiarization. Yes. I, to, to my house, that one is history. Mm -hmm. uh, when they are approaching me, th there is a moment I always respond immediately. Mm -hmm. There is a moment I always tell them, uh, I will answer you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I am the man. And I am presenting God, mm -hmm. so I have to I have to deposit into into them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I put them down and hand the blessing, and I talk to them, mm -hmm. and I say, eh, eh, and then they, and then I, when I finish the conversation, at the end of the day, I love you, all of you. Mm -hmm. You are all mine. Mm -hmm. So I have tried to put that structure because that is my own house. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I always say my house is round. Mm -hmm. And that roundness of my house, mm -hmm. I know how that house it is. Mm -hmm. The reason why my house is round, mm -hmm. you know anything that it's round, mm -hmm. when you drop on that end, mm -hmm. you will not stay on that particular place. Mm -hmm. You'll keep on rolling. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are getting that. Yes, yes. Something, if you put something here round, mm -hmm. when you stir that glass, mm -hmm. that thing it will keep on uh, rolling. Mm -hmm. But if it mm -hmm. is in four corners, mm -hmm. when you, it will not be able to, to, mm. to, to hit on a to particular place. Bound, bounce back, <laughs> yes. But round, it will just move, move in. Mm. That's why I've set my house to be round. I fell mm. over ground. Mm -hmm. Over ground. Mm -hmm. when, at the beam, mm -hmm. it's able to go up. Mm. At the up, it's able to go at the beam. Mm. At the sideways, it's able to hit on the other side and mm. bounce back. Wow. Wow. Flo, yeah. I want you to speak to ladies out there mm. uh, who could be feeling like... Uh, I mean, th this is this is too much. This marriage feels like uh, it's going the wrong direction. Okay. As a woman, mm. what should they do? Okay, um, if you feel like, because the moment will come as a woman, you feel like uh, you're trapped. So that the the feeling of being trapped means you need to get some you time away from the family to identify yourself. The me time could be just five minutes. Mm -hmm. Close the washroom, sit in the toilet if you don't have anywhere to hide from the kids. Stay there, don't answer them. Let them do their, whatever they do. Mm -hmm. Get to be you. Mm -hmm. Reconnect to yourself mm -hmm. so you can be able. The moment you're able to receive love in you, you're able to give to your family. Mm -hmm. So as mothers, we are supposed to be able to give out. Mm -hmm. But you cannot give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. So you need to connect to God because marriage is based on God being the center. Yeah. Like, let's say it's a triangle. That's what we were told in the marriage counseling, and mm -hmm. it's still working for me. Mm -hmm. God is at the top, mm -hmm. and you're at one corner, and he's at another corner. Mm -hmm. If the relationship between you is not working, mm -hmm. use going the up. one going up to mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Talk to God. Mm -hmm. He knows this man. Mm. He created him. Mm. He says in his word, he has the hearts of the kings mm. in his hand. Mm. He has the heart of your husband. If he's not loving you anymore, the moment comes, mm. you feel bored, maybe, mm. or you, you, like, you're really fed up, you want to give up. But talk to God who initiated it, mm. and let the foundation be God. If you started from a wrong foundation, mm. go back to God and repent, mm. so that your foundation can be corrected. Mm. So when you communicate to God, mm -hmm. 
he will be able to communicate to him. Yeah. See you, you take it up, God mm. will bring it down. Yes. This guy will come mm. this side. So it's, wow. it's moving like this. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if also him, he's having problems, he takes it up, it will mm. move. Yeah. So it keeps moving. Mm. The energy will keep flowing. Because mm -hmm. there's no way you will do it. Trust me, you'll be beautiful. He marries you because you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. There will always be beautiful people born mm -hmm. more than you. Mm -hmm. You think you have a perfect body, have mm -hmm. the kids, the, the shape will go and the mm -hmm. man will live. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that can hold it together mm -hmm. is God. It's mm -hmm. not money. Mm -hmm. Money comes and goes. Yeah. When I said, it, I said yes to him, mm -hmm. he had money. He mm -hmm. had the, the stability that you're told to look for before you marry. He had mm -hmm. the job. Mm -hmm. But then when we are getting married, mm -hmm. he had to choose between the job or me. Mm -hmm. so, so he quit his job. Yes. Mm -hmm. So money can come and go. Mm -hmm. But now the foundation should be Christ. Yes. And that's what I found in him. The mm -hmm. foundation was Christ. Mm -hmm. So we built the relationship on Christ. Mm -hmm. Even when I've come short and it's my fault, mm -hmm. before I apologize to him, I apologize to God. I'm like, God, I'm sorry. I'm mm -hmm. going to apologize to him. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you forgive me for this talk to his heart to forgive me. Mm -hmm. Then I come, I apologize to him. Mm -hmm. It will be easy for him mm -hmm. to forgive me because mm -hmm. I first talked to who created him, mm -hmm. who can talk to him directly before me. Mm -hmm. Now for you, you think, uh, I made money. I can talk to him anyhow. Mm -hmm. You cannot. Mm -hmm. You need to communicate to the one who will talk to him before you so that wow. when you bring your idea, mm -hmm. he's ready to receive it. Wow. Yes. That's powerful. Yeah. Powerful message. Thank you very much. Omulamwa, yeah. um, I want you to talk to men. I know they would say that uh, African men, it's hard to show love to their wives. Speak to African men. Uh, African men, especially those who are married, mm -hmm. uh, the best way for you to beat your wife is to beat that wife with purely love. And I'm... Um, I'm, I'm really discouraging men who beat their wives. Mm. I feel so bad. Mm. And the men who treat their wife like they are not human beings. Men, remember we are representing God. Even if you are born again or you are born again, mm. in another way you are representing God. Yes. And uh, I just want to tell men that one of the things that women love is when you just be yourself and accept the environment you are in and be supportful to them. Mm -hmm. If you are a husband and you, 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 you have people who are surrounding you, the best definition you can define them is to call your child Toto and your wife Mama. You accept them in their life. Wow. The moment you do that, the friction and the difficulties and challenges that you may think you are going through will not be an issue. The Bible says that whoever finds a, whoever finds a, a wife, finds and a, a I always thing. say, whoever finds a wise wife. A wise wife. A wise wife. Not just a wife. Because wives are defined in the Bibles in many ways. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks of foolish women. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that women who... who who doesn't apply wisdom and the one who distract their own house with mm. their own hands. Mm. So it means whoever finds a, a wise wow. wife mm -hmm. finds something good mm. and obtains favor. And obtains favor. Mm. Money is no solution for everything. Mm. Because I have risked several times because of my family mm. and there is no single day I have, single day I have seen God forsaking me. Mm. I left a job which was paying good money. I was a bank manager, ICT bank manager, but I was to leave it. In fact, people, they mocked me and they say, you are leaving a job because of a woman? A woman? You say a woman? They're like, really? <laughs> you find a Russian, they're everybody. Why only you are failing because of her? Say, yeah. Not all women can become your wife. <laughs> There's always one. And if really that woman whom I have sacrificed because of this job is mine, God will pay me a hundred times. And I've seen God pay. Men, you don't get stressed in bed because you don't have money. 
talk to your warriors. Ask them for advice. They'll advise you. And if you do that, you'll be a blessing. And also men who are single, I want to tell you, before you get married, be an investor of your life. <laughs> that woman who is coming into your home, she will depend from you. You will feed her, you will become a father, you will be a responsible father, and so many, if you are not ready to get married, kindly hold fast. Connect yourself with people who, who have gone before you to give you the, the right direction. And if you, don't, if you do that, you will not go amiss. The reason why I am saying that so many men have married because they have been told to marry. And if you have not made your foundation well psychologically, <laughs> mentally, spiritually, you cannot handle a woman. Mm. But if you are three, especially psychologically and mentally and spiritually, you can handle a woman. Mm. God bless you. Amen. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much for coming. Mm. We are honored having you here. Yeah. Thank you for traveling all the way to come and be with us on Couples Week. Mm. And there's something we always do before we finish the show. Mm. And uh, I'm going to give you a chance. And so I want you to look at each other. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And um, I want you to speak to your husband, speak to your wife, words that will come from deep within your heart. We start with who? Honey. You give me the study. Hiya. You have free airtime. Okay. His one. Mm -hmm. Can I hold her hand? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Uh, I want to thank you mm -hmm. for loving me. I don't regret any single moment why I accepted and why I'm with you. And I love our marriage. I love the journey. It's been amazing. And yeah, I love you. Hey. Wow. I don't know what to tell you because you have already said what I was saying. I today. knew you would <laughs> say that. But now, since uh, so you I tell have me, to tell you something. You tell good. me you love me like Mayembe. Uh, you are my Mayembe. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mayembe is always sweet. Yeah. But you are more than Mayembe. I always tell you, mm -hmm. you are, you are Number numberless. Yeah, yeah. You are a number that uh, cannot be counted. Exactly. And uh, I will keep on loving you. Mm -hmm. In fact, you have not. Your shape is still the same. Your mm. shape has rebuilt well. Mm. You are not shapeless. Mm. You are cute and pretty. Mm. And uh, it, I pray that God will continue sustaining this marriage. Mm. It is not by us. Mm. It is not by any power. But it's just by the grace of God. Mm. Wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Thank Amen. you so much. And uh, I know you'll be traveling this week mm -hmm. on Thursday. Yes. And uh, as you go back to Dubai, Mwende Salama. Asante Salama. And uh, Namutukumbuke. Asante Salama. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, so this show is international, my friend. It is going all the way to Dubai. So thank you very much. And I know we have very, uh, we have a number of viewers that uh, watch as from Dubai, we have Kijo, we have a, quite a number of you. I can't mention all of you, but we thank you very, very much for always uh, tuning in. So thank you very much for coming, and the Lord bless you. Amen. And uh, pass our love to the little angel. Yes, we will. Yes, yes. we will. Asante Nisana. Asante. Yes, and that marks to the end of our tonight show. What is your take home? Mm -hmm. What is your take home? Kindly, I always tell you that this show is not monologue. So kindly, make sure that you leave a comment. Write something down there. What have you learned from this couple? Did you enjoy their story? Let us know. So thank you very much for watching. And if you have not booked your seat for Naivasha, we are going to Lake Oloiden in Naivasha. We are having the couples who retreat, hang out. Yes, so kindly, there's a number running down on the screens. Kindly 
take that number you can pay via mpesa you can call us and uh, do more inquiry and we'll be glad to have you we have quite a number of couples that have registered and so usibaki numa and maybe you are there and you're saying i'm alone my wife maybe has traveled kindly you can come alone because there will be a lot of learning so as you come you'll be able to learn so you can come alone and charges are seven thousand per couple and one person it is three thousand five hundred asante nisana and see you on friday as we continue building our marriages my name is willy kinyash i'm a doctor love and out there they also call me the undisputed and thank you for joining us this is wema tv the voice of hope and the show is the couples will show and this is where we write down our love will when we are alive well for we don't want our love through to be read when we are gone nay that we want our love through to be read when we are six feet under for now it is a good night god bless you and god bless your marriage